Welcome back to another all day thrifting video. My name is Mikhail. I am here with Jess. We are outside of Rethink Thrift, so let's run inside and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Or usually I don't head straight over to the, you know, breakables, but there's a couple of these jellyfish here, two of them for $5 a piece. And we'll go over this here in a bit, but this is a good buy. Also, hammer shots. That's cool. I don't pick up vineyard vines often. Brand new shorts for five. I think they're women's, but I'll get them. Over here, I found this. I saw the MSRP is 150. It's only four bucks. New sealed. There's one sold at bid for $33 plus shipping. So I might list it higher. There's none listed. Just the one sold. Base coasters. <laughs> oh, that might be a fun whatnot item for three bucks. Maybe. And three's a little high though. I don't think it's still for very much. I also haven't sold on whatnot, so I'm not sure. Alright, usually I head straight to the shoes, but obviously stuff caught my eye first. These chakas would be good. They're only five bucks, but they're just a little too worn for me. But it's the time of year to start buying them. Okay, but I've never seen kids uh Vibram five fingers. These always sell really well and they're very popular. So these I think are only in the two dollars, maybe three. So those are probably gonna go for like twenty, twenty-five. So this uh, watch was up by the register, A-V-O-C-E-T, -A and it didn't have a sticker on it, so I asked. She said $3.99, and it sells consistently for $50 to $60, bucks. so that's a great buy. I missed these earlier. These are Hoka slides. These always sell really well. They're going to be 5 and they should go for 40 These are the Aura Recovery Slides. Very good seller. So I'm done shopping. Jess has quite the cart of clothes for us to go through. Okay, we are going over the clothing just found now. Uh, I haven't seen any of it except for this top piece, which is a mountain hardware skirt. Nothing crazy, should go for 15 bucks. Um, all clothing is $2.50 unless marked. And so we're gonna go over the stuff just found. We'll try to find the size tag on this one in a bit. Yeah. Cool. All right, Sims. Nice, Sims is a great brand if you guys don't know. It's also Pearl Snap, which adds some value. Probably a $25 shirt. There is Prada pants. Prada pants. Um, probably I know, no to those. I know you do the jeans. Hang the ones on the, the side that we won't get. I have Eddie Bauer, the First Ascent version. Is it snow pants or? Um, kinda? I think they're kind of like hiking. Um, but it's fleece lined. I mean, for two dollars and fifty cents, it's probably gonna be worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in the get pile. This one I didn't know. REI women's short hiking shorts. They're water I actually just sold a pair for 20 the small ones, and they sold pretty quickly, so I'll get them. <laughs> Every time you turn it, you keep almost hitting me in the face. With what? Oh, okay. the clothing? I don't so, know this brand. Oh, Horny Toad? No, it's not, not a good, good one. Brand? Okay. I've looked it up in the past. All right, Jordan shorts. I have one pair. I have two pairs. Three pairs. Four pairs of Jordan shorts. All right, we could probably, if they're all one size, just do one big lot too. I don't typically pick them up, because, but because they're cheap, I'll get them. Okay, so sorry, camera cut off. Uh, North Face fleece is gonna be a no. Just, it's too basic, it wouldn't sell very quickly. Plus, yeah. the colder months are ending. I'll probably pass on that. Oh. I don't pick up a lot of uh, coats. Even, this isn't Eddie Bauer. It has a hole in it too, though. Stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't really pick up coats. I just I'm bad at listing them. Uh, <laughs> they would right. sit in my death pile forever. Uh, Harley Davidson sweater. Okay, base price. Yeah. Yep. All right, two dollars fifty cents should go for twenty. And then I have an RVCA. I usually won't pick up the shirts, but it's sports I've, shorts. I've never heard of that brand. Oh, really? We can look it up. So we have a couple things to look up really quickly. Okay, we spent $53 on everything. I had a $5 off coupon. I got another one of these little Dalmatian Hanks. Oh, uh, thank you. Use them for whatnot shows and giveaways in the future. I got all the clothing you guys saw. Pretty good uh, clothing stop. I'll probably lot up all the Air Jordan shorts in one big lot for like 60 bucks. Uh, the Hoka's, these are a good model to look out for. The Aura Recovery Slides, um, Men's 12. These always sell really fast for me. I usually get 40 to 50 for them. And then this is what I took a chance on. Four bucks, not going to lose money. Like I said, there's none listed, one sold on auction. And I got two, the two uh, jellyfishes. 
the jellyfish paperweights. Like I said, I know some of these can be worth some good money. I don't know how to tell, but these are going to go to the whatnot box. And then Vibram Five Fingers, the watch I showed you, that's going to go for like 60. And this, not really sure what it is. It's called the Map of the Soul Official Light Stick. Anyways, I scanned the code. They go for about 30 to 40. Uh, some sold for 60. I'm just gonna shoot for 30. Four bucks into 30. It's very lightweight too. Might even go first class. Uh, but yeah, with that, we're gonna head to Goodwill. So there's two, we're at the Goodwill in Belgrade now. There's two spots open in the whole parking lot. This guy's parked like this. Someone left their shopping cart in this aisle or in this spot. So just had to move it. Put your shopping carts back. It's not that hard, people. These are cool. All right, it's very crowded in here today. It's half off all men's clothing. I just found these hokas that just came on a new cart for eight bucks. Pretty worn, but I'll sell them as a beater pair for cheaper. It's a good model. Sell quick for 30 to 40. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Golf club barbecue set. Huh, how much is it? There's no price on it. Oh yeah, yeah, there's no price on it, but that is cool. Holy lamp collection. All right, so I left the shoe uh, section. I'm gonna go back over there in a minute. It was just a bit overwhelming. Um, oh, but I came over to the bags. What was I gonna show you? Ah, so this North Face bag would be a good buy for, at 10, but it's unfortunately got some damage to it. I always have really good luck with North Face bags. They sell pretty quickly for me. 40 bucks probably, plus shipping. Um, yeah, besides that, not seeing a lot. I still gotta go back to the shoes and over to the women's shoes. Uh, yeah. I am gonna get this shelf though for 25. It's nothing crazy, it's gonna go in the office. My backdrop for YouTube is almost complete and I needed like a sm small shelf to have some cool stuff on it. So this is gonna be a buy for myself. I just went back to the men's shoes and found a couple decent pairs. These Brooks Adrenaline 19s are $6, pretty dirty, but they'll wipe up nicely and go for roughly 30. And this is a good model of Vans to look out for. 10 is paying up, but they should go for about 35 plus shipping pretty quickly. These are the ultra range model. These Burton snowboard boots are gonna be good though. They're 12 bucks. Um, Jess has her 20 or 10% off uh, student ID, so we'll use that. Save a couple bucks on them. But yeah, Burton's a great brand of snowboard boots. These should go for roughly 50. All right, I just went to uh, through the toy section, which I don't normally like spend much time in. But I found this uh, Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones figure for three bucks. Goes for like 25 to 30. And Furbies is something you want to look out for. Furbies are a bolo. This is three as well. And it has a tag. That should go for about 30 bucks plus shipping as well. Um, so pretty cool toy finds. I just found some clothing. Gymshark. Gymshark leggings for five. Go. Hallie Hansen shark. How much is it? Five? That might be too high for this. Hallie Hansen's a good brand you guys want to look out for, but it's basic tank top's only going to go for like 10 bucks. I'm going to leave it behind. Young LA. Young LA, nice. Young LA is a good up and coming brand to look out for. Those shorts are probably 20 bucks. Thanks to your brother for letting us know about it. Yeah. And then an Oakley skirt, squirt, hmm. which I've never seen. Yeah, Oakley. I haven't either. We can look it up. Or... Right. Good finds, yeah, we'll look it up. Okay, spent $57 on everything, ignore the dog food and the packages that gotta go to the post office. The majority of it was this, which was $25, which I'll probably show you guys, you know, in a clip here coming up, the office and what I've got going for the backdrop so far, once I put this in and put out the decor. But uh, the ski boots, those should go for about 50, getting most of my money back. You guys saw the shoes and the toys. So overall, good stuff. I've been looking for a shelf like this for a while on Facebook Marketplace, so I'm glad I was able to find one fairly cheap. Okay, we are now at the Four Corners thrift store. The last couple times we were here, I found that $800 typewriter along with all the all clad, the Toomey suitcase. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's one of those days again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so there's a bunch of lenses and the Nikon, like Nikon lenses and Canon. They're priced up, so I'm gonna have to look them up. All right, so this bag is 100 bucks. Tomorrow's half off day. If it makes it a half off day, I'll buy it. This lens alone is worth 90. The camera body's like 30. And then there's another like $50 lens inside of it. So if that's here tomorrow for 50, I will get it. I still gotta look up these lenses.
Okay, so all the camera stuff I'm going to get tomorrow on Half Off Day, if it's still here, along with this Titleist hat. The Titleist Foot Joy hat? It's five bucks. Tomorrow it'll be two fifty. I just don't want to pay five. Okay, but over in the men's are these Keen boots, which they are 15 but they're in pretty good condition. I could wait till tomorrow, but they might not be here. I'm going to put them in the car and look up the exact model, see if 15's worth it. Up here are some Doc Martens for eight, but man, I mean... They're dirty, they have some heel rub. The leather itself will clean up with some Doc Martin Wonder Balm. Those might be worth it for eight. We will put them in the cart and think about them. So unfortunately, it's a pretty mad day of thrifting so far. It might pick up, you never know. There's four of these Revere Wear stainless steel, like camping, uh, or no, not camping. Those are not camping. Uh, I'm not sure what these are called. There's four of them. They're 10 bucks a piece though and they sell for like 25 um maybe on half off day they'll be worth it because it's one listing quantity of four but right now no here's a bagalini which i've heard of this only from harry tornado i don't know how well these little bags do 10 is probably too much but i'll wait if it's still here tomorrow i'll get it for five okay so i decided to put everything back just pricing and condition not worth the prices they have. I'm going to leave here empty handed, which is fine because tomorrow is half off day. I will come here first thing at 10 a.m. and I'll bring you guys with me to see what all is left. What are you looking at? <laughs> Weirdo stalking me. But yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow morning at 10 and hopefully some of the stuff is still here and we can get some good deals. We are now heading into Sacks of Bozeman. Uh, I took Jess home. As you guys probably noticed if you've been watching my channel a while, she usually goes home right after Four Corners Thrift because uh, the way the thrifting loop works, um, our house is on the way back and she's not a big fan of these two thrift stores. They're pretty basic. Plus she has some stuff to take care of. So we are on our own the rest of the day. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. Okay, over in the electronics, I actually found something, which I don't often do at this store. $12 for this Bose uh, sound dock. This isn't the highest end model. It'll go for 40 since it has the power cord though, and it does say tested. Um, should go, yeah, roughly 40 maybe 45 Okay, so I was not expecting to score here. This is a big score. Uh, Steel Series Arctis Pro wireless headset for $15. Oh. Um, oh no, it is missing a piece in here. Oh, that's, it's missing this. Um, darn, okay. I st it's still going to be worth it, I think. So complete $150 plus shipping. I might be able to sell just the headset for $75. Um, all right, that's, that's kind of a bummer. I thought I found $150. Bucks. Either way, I'm still going to get it. Looks like they finally got rid of some of the shoes that weren't selling. Ooh. <laughs> uh, $14. Man, this store is expensive. That's still probably going to be worth it. There's another pair over here. So this one's only three. Those are 14 Makes no sense to me. These will be worth it for three. But I don't know about these ones for 14 so good thing I just double checked this. These aren't even the right headphones. These are Corsair, so that's a bummer. But yeah, I wonder if they even know that they're selling something that's incomplete and not even the right headset. I'm leaving it behind. All right, I only left with the Bose sound dock, unfortunately. Um, as of right now, today's video is pretty average. Found some good finds at the first stop and second stop did pretty well. So. Can't complain too much, but we'll see how this last stop goes. Like I said, I'm probably gonna include half off day at Four Corners Thrift at the end of this video, just because, kind of add some spice to it. But as a reminder, every 1,000 subscribers, I am giving away a four pack of American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap. We are so close to the 4,000 subscriber giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. Last stop of today is gonna be Do-Overs Thrift. These Ultras would be a good buy, but 15 is a little high, it's, and they're missing insoles, but this is a really good model to look out for. Okay, we might have found a score, though. These are Nobles. They're bit, quite a bit dirty, but I've never seen Nobles that look like this. $15 is probably going to be worth it. 
MBT is a really good brand to look out for. They're like SketchUp, Sketcher Shape Ups, but higher quality. 20 is just a little bit too high for them. I could probably get 45. Over on a new rack are these cool. Uh, they're like, they're the, I think the Nova model, like stretch pants. They're eight bucks, which is paying up, but these usually sell pretty well for about 30. All right, so all I ended up getting was the Nobles and the cool pants. Not a great day of thrifting. Um, like I said, first stop was good. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning back at uh, Four Corners Thrift right when they open for half off day. So for anyone who's interested or cares, this is what I have so far for my backdrop. I have this like fake, you know, leaves. Open sign, the Deadpool I got in Mexico. Pretty cool figure. Uh, Grogu, lava, I don't know. Pretty simple right now. It'll be good for, you know, filming in here, having like a backdrop at my desk, along with when I do future whatnot shows, just a cool little ambiance. And then I'll hang some uh, string lights up here. And yeah, this isn't gonna be it. Obviously I have more plans for it, but this is what I've got so far. It is now the next day. We're heading back to Four Corners Thrift where hopefully some of that stuff made it to half off day. They open in 10 minutes and I'm like five minutes away from there. Um, I just wanted to say, because I forgot to mention yesterday, uh, I found that Bose sound dock at uh, Saks of Bozeman. And I forgot to mention, I have an extra OEM remote for that specific system just sitting in my death pile. So that's awesome. That's something I'm going to pair with it and it's going to add about $10 in value to that find. They made it. Couple filters. All the camera stuff is still here. Let's check to see if the shoes are. Ah, uh, yes. The Keens are, so I'm glad I left them behind. 750 is a great deal for those. Along with some Sims shoes. I ended up leaving these behind too, so for five, that's gonna be a buy. And the Ducks. I almost forgot about these. Pretty rough condition, but for four bucks, you can't go wrong. I am glad I ended up making the decision to leave them behind. What brand is that? None. This is a popular style of Ariat boots. They're not the most expensive. They're the women's fat baby model, and they usually go for about 40, so for 750. There's this Star Wars Lego set. It's, the sides are taped, but it's clearly opened, you can tell. And this model just doesn't sell for a whole lot, even in like new condition, so I am gonna leave that behind, even for four bucks. And that uh, Titleist hat is also still here. It's fitted, unfortunately, so it's gonna be worth a little less. But it's still a $15 hat. And the Ariat logo just caught my eye. Oh, five bucks, two fifty. That's also a buy. Oh, and I overlooked these too. These are the Merrill boots I left here last week, and they're five bucks. So I'm going to get those. All right, so don't pass up on watches. Casio is a pretty good one. This is the G-Shock model. I looked it up, and it sells consistently for seventy to a hundred dollars, and it's only going to be five. I usually don't go through clothing here because it's usually pretty marked up and I, North Face is usually marked up very high here but it's only going to be five dollars for this like ski snowboard jacket and yeah that's probably a forty dollar coat. Okay so I didn't look up this lens yesterday, sorry, uh, the Nikon it's a 16 to 85 millimeter lens and I just looked it up and it sells consistently for around hundred and fifty dollars so for twenty that's awesome. And this is a ProMaster lens, and this one goes for about 80. It's going to be 1250. And this little filter that comes off on top sells for about 15 on its own. Okay, that certainly makes up for yesterday's lackluster day of thrifting. I spent $125 in there. Not too bad. Obviously, you saw the North Face jacket that should go for about 50. I got the lenses. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one that goes for 150. That'll make me all my money back quickly because they were selling great. Makes a 90 on this one. So, and camera lenses and cameras sell really fast for me. I got this one that I showed you yesterday. It comes with the Canon EOS Rebel film camera. I'll sell the body by itself for probably 50. This lens goes for about 90 and the other one goes for 50. And I paid 50 for it. So let me try that. There we go. The Casio watch. Casio is a decent brand of watches. Not all are worth money, but the G-Shocks are very valuable. Some sell for three to four hundred dollars. This one's lower end, seventy-five to a hundred, but not too shabby. 
the other hat and all the shoes and boots that you saw. The Kings will sell fast for 50. So overall, a really good last stop. That's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, guys. At this rate, next week will be the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win the free American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.